Abilities Foundation is a training facility for persons with disabilities, ages 17 onwards. They receive vocational training in housekeeping, furniture making, garment construction, design and decor, data operations, level one and level two, and general office administration. In addition, we have horticulture and landscaping. What we aim to do is to transition them from training into the workplace. So in addition to them getting skills training, they also get support services in terms of job placement and advice, money management, money awareness, remedial English, and functional mathematics. Ability Foundation has showed me that I can be some, something and somebody in society and there is a place for me in society. I think one of the reasons that we're considered a model institution is that Abilities Foundation is the only institution of this type in Jamaica and to some extent in the English-speaking Caribbean. We offer this to the general public and the fees are minimal in comparison to other institutions that the fees are extremely high. Well, I got involved with the Abilities Foundation September 1999. When I came here, I didn't know anything at all about the computer, I must admit. On coming inside, I thought I took up a challenge that was not going to be able to achieve, but with the instructors that I had then, who told you to first believe in yourself and nothing is impossible, then I went straight ahead. After two months, I said to myself, this is where I'm going to make my living and come hell or high water, I am going to do so. And I have been doing that. Some students will come in and they cannot spell their name. And at the end of the program, they can fill out a bank slip. They can uh, go on the bus by themselves. They can dress for an interview. That's very important. And that gives me the inspiration because when we empower a person with a disability, we are not just empowering that person. We're imp most of them will be single parents or they are single parents. They have children that depend on them. They have parents that depend on them. And we're not just empowering that person, but we're empowering a family, a generation. We have had many success stories, but one that really sticks out is a student. His name is Harvard Box. He came to Abilities severely autistic, could not speak. And through that project and training, he was able to transition into working here at Abilities. And for his mother, I know I can speak for his mother, she feels that he's sheltered and he's transitioning slowly in becoming independent. He knows how to manage his money, he banks his money, he, he has friends, something that would never happen before. And we are very, extremely proud of, of Arval and the program and what it did for him here. Employers out there are not aware that disabled persons with disability really have a lot to offer and they can be seen as assets. Because some of them, once they go out to them, they see them as liabilities, accidents will happen. So not until they, get, they give them the chance, even if it's a one week, and see them working, then they'll somehow open up. It's an uproad battle where we have to sensitize the workplace that, listen, we are ready for you. You need to get ready for us. You need to find out how do we make our, our workplace uh, accessible for persons with disabilities. Do we need to educate our staff about having persons at the workplace and how can we include them at the workplace? I always tell myself that um, if I were a minister, I would um, like have school that mix with um, able body and disabled person, you know, so they can they can feel how it's, you know, and can be around, both the able can be around the disabled and the disabled can be around, so. What, what um, we need the government to do to help persons with special needs, to be more supportive, have more program, have um, workplace that accept them, they get more jobs, that they can be independent. We are human beings also, we might have say a limb or walking with a limb or lose a limb but we capable of learning the things that you learn 
and do the things that you can do to maybe in a different way but we can do it also. It has to start at a very very tender age so even from basic schools I think we must do a lot more integration because when persons start growing up with these people and realizing that we are all the same because we think the same we play the same then we'll start accepting each other no longer segregate and say this is person with disabilities this is a real society because together we all are jamaicans and we all are country builders so we need to work together as one